What's going on YouTube? This is a instructional video on the Evil Twin stacked mod by Deathwish Mods. This is the stainless steel. Super deep engravings. Got little twin devil brothers. You can't really see the size or sickle. I don't think it's a size. I think it's more of sickles. But um, I built this one last night. Got some, or I installed these uh, JB's V2 series. It is a 2650 or 18650 mod. It's preferred 2650, but you can use 18650. Um, as always, just make sure your batteries are up to handle whatever build you put in there. Um, this is what it's going to come in. This big ass box right here. This has your RDA and your mod inside of it. I've got a really big head, so you can uh, kind of judge it from that. My hand takes up the whole thing. But um, when you open it up, you're going to have these two things in here. This is all your spare parts, your Allen wrench, your ball bearings, your grubs, your uh, O-rings, and a card from the company. Pretty much saying this is for advanced vapors. Uh, make sure you know battery, Ohm's Law, it's a hybrid mod, so you want to make sure your 510 is protruding, all that good stuff. And then it says, now that we got all the legal BS out of the way, welcome to the Death Wish family with Martin LaForest and Maxime Dubay. I hope I'm saying his name right. Old Dub. But, let's crack this thing open. That's it right there, all wrapped in plastic. You're also going to get this, which is the tool to take apart your button, which I will show you how to do. We'll leave that out. We'll go ahead and get this out. Actually, I don't need the Allen wrench because I built this last night, but I just, um, all I did was pre-fire it and everything. I wanted to make sure that uh, I already had a build ready to go. But this is your RDA. Take that, set it to the side. That is the Sickles and the Unholy V2 logo. Set that down. And this is the Copper Evil Twin. Can't really see, my phone's not the best, but the engravings are super sick. The button is super nice. And it actually comes with a disc, kind of um, reminiscent of the VCM. Um, a lot of people were talking about not liking it being one solid tube. I, in fact, love that. Um, if you want a single tube, then get a bare bones. Uh, if you want a single Death Wish tube, then get a bare bones or a goat, raven, or hanged, if you can find them. But uh, that's the disc. It's got a little lip to it. And that is to make sure it actually kind of sits down in there. You'll see. Also comes with this right here. This is the adapter for 18650 and an extra spring. I believe it's a tighter spring. Um, with the uh, 18650s, let me grab two of them real quick. I'm not going to be using 18650, but I just want to go ahead and show this is what you do. Positive side in there. Negative side on the reverse, so it's negative here, positive here, they're both running positive down, that's how he wants it in the tube, that's how it's supposed to go, is negative down, but you just slide that in there like that, one of the batteries fell out, and then that's ready to go. So with the adapter, not a lot of rattle to it, once you get the RDA on there it'd be even less, but that is how the batteries are supposed to be ran for 18650, so negative to positive. One, like one single battery just straight down we'll set that to the side we'll set the spring to the side I'll be using the Sanyo 2650s I'm a huge Sanyo fan Sanyo whatever you want to call it um, extremely good batteries let's take this down to the button I'll take this apart this is the first thing you want to do whenever you um, whenever you do build on your uh, either bare bones or evil twin. You want to take this connection out, 
this is your top contact comes out with the key it's a little beveled on the side that needs to stay up but oh, a little bit of plating right there a little bit of plating shavings but what you want to do is I'll go ahead and take the whole thing out you don't have to take the whole thing out I'm just gonna do that to show you the full breakdown of everything that I can all right that's your bottom contact screws in to your button it's not gonna focus for crap but you get the picture this is your insulated top part of your button the spring actually goes into the smaller side of the button where it's insulated and then your button itself all insulated silver spring and all that has no relativity in this like it's not gonna make it hit harder or anything like that you wanna get your bottom contact back in take the key and once you start screwing you ain't gotta worry about holding it together but you wanna hold it together at the beginning to get the spring down so you can fit the contacts in there but all you wanna do first thing you wanna do with this is make sure your bottom contact is completely snug we'll do that All right can't turn anymore I'm not trying to crank it down or anything just hand tighten it to where it will not move anymore it's your button and then you're gonna take your top contact you're gonna put that right there and like I said you want to take your top contact off because you saw there was a piece of plating in there that would mess up your um, experience um, it would short or something like that well not necessarily short but you know that's the first time I've ever had any kind of thing like that. I've never had a problem with machine oil, um, etchings, because uh, they acid etch everything. I've never had any problem with anything like that. No residue, but hand tighten your button or your top contact to your bottom contact and your button is assembled completely. Now, what I like to do is take the contact, or not the contact, the top hat that screws into your mod. Show it one more time is just screw that in go ahead and screw that on not over tightening nothing like that just making sure it's on there and then I like to screw that down on there and as I said now you'll see that's where it comes out at you'll see the the actual RDA kind of sinks down into it a little bit I'll take the top off can't turn it anymore I already installed these right here this is flat wire canthal flaptons um, the canthal has a higher resistance so it's good for series what that is is just a 5 wrap 3.5 millimeter in inner diameter and I wish it would focus better but it's not going to Let's see if we get closer anyway it's a 5 wrap on a 3.5 millimeter. Canthal Flapton. It's your best friend for high builds. I actually have it in my Centurion for my uh, LiPo. Uh, let's see. Batteries, positive down, which is this side, downwards. Stack them. That's your negatives. We'll just barely put it in there sideways. I don't like to like turn my tube up and like slam them down in there. It's not my thing. And just tighten your button just barely that's all you should have to do now what you want to do with this right here um, you can't really see but the way I did it is there's a ball bearing in here and then there's a grub screw on top I put one lead under the ball bearing one lead above the ball bearing and then I tighten it down on both sides and as you see it's pretty fast on the ramp up works out beautiful I want to say it comes out to 0 0.28 0 0.3 somewhere around there um, maybe not considered the safest but it's never done me wrong especially with the batteries that I use um, I always make sure there's no problem with the batteries whatsoever but it is lightning fast you want to make sure that your coils evenly um, heat up at the same time you want to center them as well as as best you can but uh, if you see, I also like to see like where the um, coils are. 
I like to sit this down on there to see where the airflow is going to hit around it. And if you see, it's right there in front of the airflow. Like, you want your coil lined up almost perfect with the airflow. That's been my best experience with it. It gets air under and over um, the coil itself. We're going to let that cool down and wick it up. These things are lifesavers when you want to do something quick. Quick wicks, made by Wet Wick Supply Company. They have like these little shoelace looking things on the end. They are plastic, so you really want to make sure your coils are cooled down. But they're the quickest thing ever, so when it comes to wicking. And you can actually put the whole thing in there. Like, all the cotton that is out. Every bit of cotton. Once you put it in, you'll hold this, you'll pull the tip off, and then you'll have what you want to tuck down in there. I will get the Allen wrench out for this part because I'm going to use it to tuck my cotton. Just fatten those sides out a little bit because it is compressed from being in the uh, little shoelace looking device but these things make things quick I wanted to make a quick video but I wanted to cover everything I wanted to show from beginning to finish the breakdown of the button um, it's a solid tube I enjoy it uh, just as I enjoyed the bare bones and anything else that Death Wish has put out um, I love their products I purchase them whenever they come out pretty much like I am a huge fan uh, this the wicking technique that I've used on everything as I believe was named the Scottish roll and what it is is you just clear you tuck this cotton as best you can and then you like once you get it underneath the coil you want to take your whatever you're using to push it back and create a little pocket there at the bottom so it's only really touching down in the sides that has been the best technique I've been using it forever now but it looks something like that right there completely tucked on both sides we'll do that to the, the other side I didn't want to make a flashy video with a bunch of edits in it and move through this fast I wanted to walk through it as best I could um, the only thing that I wish I would have done is built on it but uh, sometimes that can be a pain I did build this on a DNA device so I could check the ohm levels and I want to say it was like 0.26 to 0.3 and uh, I don't know it's we'll let it speak for itself when I get this wicked up and juiced up well let's see the quad is actually on my stainless steel but I will be using some prohibitions riding shotgun on this one it's a golden cookie you could call it an Oreo cookie like a golden Oreo and it is delicious it's hard to pick a favorite between this and syntax riding shotgun and syntax are two phenomenal juices by prohibition this cotton just soaks up juice they actually did a test one time and took one little pad like cuz you can get quick wicks or you can get the Japanese squares they took one pad and it held 30 milliliters of juice a whole 30 mil just soaked into it see how she fires that's what you want you want the the vapor to come out evenly on the left and right and the top uh, some people call it a signature it's also what I call it but you just want to make sure it just perfect this thing is a monster tuck some of my cotton back a little bit better once it's all juiced up But yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, concerns, hit me up in the comments. Or you can find me on Facebook, Jordan Caparell. 
Um, I'll answer any questions you have or anything like that. I want to say that I covered everything possible. Button, RDA, all that good stuff. Um, as always, battery safety is key when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, with hybrid mods, you want to make sure your 510 is protruding, all that good stuff. And um, if you have one, enjoy. If not, get you one. They're phenomenal stacks. And uh, much love. Advocate, educate, all that good thing. We got to keep fighting for our rights as vapors and all that good stuff. But um, much love to you guys. Have a great day.